might have heard people talk about due diligence uh, when they're trying to sound smart about uh, like assessing a deal. Hey, I need to do my due diligence. But let's dive into what does that actually mean um, and in a property context. So if you want to get a property under contract um, and you, you want to do some analysis and you need some time to check out the specifics, what you want to do if you can is try and get a sale and purchase agreement for the property, get it under contract and have it conditional on due diligence. Now what this kind of clause is, it's, it's a cover all. So when we're talking about sale and purchase agreements and we're talking about conditions, sometimes we do a condition for builder's inspection, sometimes a condition for finance, sometimes a condition for, you know, there's a bunch of things. Now what the due diligence clause is, is it covers everything. And what it means is if for any reason you decide you want to back out of the deal, you can. And you don't really have to tell the agent or the seller why you're backing out and you don't have to disclose necessarily to the bank the reasons um, let's say you're doing a builder's report um, after you've done the builders report you're not really sure whether the bank's going to say yes or not if you say on your sale and purchase agreement hey um, my uh, condition is I need a builder's report the bank's probably going to ask for that and they want to see it if the building fails anything on that bills report or there's any red flags the bank's going to pick up on that now if you're doing a due diligence and then you're doing your own builders report now in theory you should submit that but you might not need to um, and so what a due diligence clause allows you to do is lock up the property for a week or a month or longer and it, it allows you to do all of these things you know inspections talk to the bank um, or mortgage advisor about finance talk to the lawyer about you know whether this is a good deal or not whether it's a safe property to buy gives you an opportunity to start canvassing the market for uh, resale potential without uh, being scared that anyone else is going to come in and try to steal the deal off you you've got it locked in for that period of time it uh, allows you to start talking to potential tenants you know you're buying a commercial building there's going to be a lot of room for uh, what a you know might be empty building you know you gotta see hey should I buy this and should I fill it with tenants uh, it allows you to do calculations yield calculations maintenance like gives you time to assess the deal without worrying too much about the specifics so if you lock a property up and you say hey conditional on meth testing and then you do a builders report and the builders report comes back um, with big problems but you don't condition for that on the sale and purchase agreement gives you much less negotiation power and much um, you don't have as much opportunity to back out of the deal due diligence covers everything and anything and uh, generally speaking real estate agents aren't really keen on due diligence clauses so the appropriate place for a clause like this is usually when not many other people are trying to buy the property um, and unless you've got really you know a good strong reputation already with the agent or in the market Putting this clause in place is sometimes difficult unless you're the only bidder. So um, if you want a copy of the clause, you can flick me an email, andrew at irefire.co.nz. There's a few different versions depending on the property type you're looking at. But um, you know, when you're looking at spending you know, a lot of money on property, if you get the opportunity, sometimes due diligence is a good way to lock it up. And you might not necessarily be looking to actually buy this property unless you uncover some real gold um, underneath the cover and sometimes you really need to lock in the building on a uh, on a contract to give you confidence that it's worth spending money on these types of things there's no point in, in our eyes in doing expensive building inspections expense spending money on lawyer spending heaps of time doing all of this stuff unless you're going to be able to get the building under contract for a price that you're happy with and what has been common in the past if people will do due diligence clauses they'll do all of this work might you know might be two or three weeks worth of work property has effect effectively been off market for that time other buyers haven't been able to put their contracts in place and you can come back with a list of things that need to be fixed and prices attached and sometimes it gives you negotiation power to bring down that offer that you've uh, you've put forward it's not something we always recommend being really hard bargainers um, but if you're that type of investor, then, um, you know, by all means, try it out.